My son has disruptive mood dysregulation disorder and ADHD. The problem with my son faces is when he's at school, he tends to lie. He becomes violent and aggressive. A few years ago, my son opened up his window and he jumped out of it. He told the doctors that I pushed him out of the second floor window. I had to prove that I was at work and that that was, in fact, a lie. CPS did not take into account that my son had mental issues. In fact, they denied that he had any issues at all. Um, that, that makes it tough for the caseworker. And you said, I asked you how you've been with the caseworker, and you said what? Difficult. Difficult. Yeah. But um, not uncooperative. What? But not uncooperative. I'm, we're volunteering. We want to do what needs to be done to get our kids back. I'm, you I, said difficult. Okay. I haven't been the nicest person, but I haven't, I've been volunteering. Everything okay. that they've asked us to do, we've volunteered you, you've, ahead You've watched the show before, right? A few times, yeah. Okay. You just said, I said I've been difficult, but. Mm-hmm. Okay, but means forget what I just said, I'm gonna tell you now what I really think. Okay, you said I've been difficult. Now forget I said that, I'm gonna tell you what I want you to believe. No, You've been difficult. it's there in the papers. I've been cooperative. If I were the two of you, and I had been falsely accused, not once, not twice, not three, not four, not four, not five, six, seven, but eight times, I would be furious. I'd be spitting mad. And that's where I am. If I wanted my children back, I'd get a new best friend. And it would be the caseworker that made the recommendation. There are 10 things you need to demonstrate. And this is general, it varies state to state. But you need to demonstrate that you can provide a safe, stable, and secure environment for these children. That you maintain a loving, stable, consistent, and nurturing relationship with the child. That you attend to the daily needs of the child. They're talking about feeding, clothing, physical care. Adequate education, financial support. That you identify and prioritize their needs ahead of your own. That you're a fiduciary for them that you can empathize with and meet the child's need, that you regulate impulses and emotions, that you assist the child in developing and maintaining appropriate relationships, and that you exercise appropriate judgment regarding the child's welfare. And that has to do with y'all's relationship. And if they perceive you to be praying for her demise, that throws a wild card into this that they go, what the hell? You two need to present this kind of a front like unified and it needs to be focused on these kids here. You couldn't be managing this worse if you tried.